Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people, is happening in Abia states. Hmm. Not be smart, you know. We bring you up to speed. Sometime last week, say, in Abia state, um, they are planning to coronate an emir in Abia. So, Iqbias, when he heard about it, his government quickly made, you know, all efforts to make sure that that is stopped and said it should not happen. Not be smart, they don't write letter to the governor, you know, they threaten him more. The governor don't stand on the ground again. Gidi say he no one hear any coronation, or any coronation of any um, emir in Abia State that they don't have any history of such. Okay, say Abia State not get any emir, and there should be no such thing as any coronation. But they don't threaten it as well. Not be small trade. They don't come threaten it as well. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. As it as is threatened over, you know, uh, over saying there should be no coronation of any emir in the state. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The Abia State government has frowned at the proposed coronation of the of one Saki. She Shehu Bello the second as the Emir of Abia Emirate Council without recourse to the state government. The governor says he heard of a coronation that was about to take place in his state and reached out to say there should be no such coronation. However, message has come to the government that they have no such jurisdiction to stop any proposed coronation that if they do abia state will be in for it the governor ipiazu has however sent out a warning that he's not playing he was not playing when his government said there is no such thing as emir of abia and he's sending out the last warning warn all involved in the authorized illegal coronation to stop forthwith to be or to prepare to face the full route of the law as is ready for them in a pro in a press statement signed by the secretary of the state government chris esm on monday again said we are against any proposed coronation the government directed the immediate cancellation of the proposed illegal coronation and is warning all those involved nothing like like Abia Emirate Council in Abia State. If anyone is involved, they will be dealt with. The government of Abia State warned all residents, especially those residing in Abia State Metropolis, to be law abiding. The statement released by Elzim reads The law enforcement agencies have been directed to swing into action to ensure that no such event is capable of bridging the existing peace Abia State and its people relatively enjoys. Starting taking place in Abia, any such coronation or words will be dealt with. We have sent out a warning at the first instant when we heard it. However, some people who are daring the government has gone ahead to say they will carry out this coronation regardless. We will have nothing to say to them until they go ahead and they carry on with such, and then they will be faced with the full route of the law. So this is what is happening. Apparently, after the governor issued the warning, some persons have taken it personal and have come out to say, ah, eh, the governor has no decision to say that uh, they cannot carry out a coronation. If the governor does such, oh, the governor will be dealt with. Uh, they are coming for Abia State. The governor can re release another statement by his secretary of state saying, hmm, he's not joking when he said there is no Saki uh, Shehu Bello II of Abia State. That Abia State is enjoying relative peace and that he wants this peace to continue and that nobody should stand against the relative peace that Abia State is enjoying. Because if they go ahead and they have anything called coronation, they will be faced with the full route of the law. My dear, how will they impose ourselves on other people? Why are we going to do that kind of thing? Now only those when if you say they get backbone, no? where if you say nothing they happen, we go do the coronation and may we see your words. We want to do your words. Is that no? Is that no? Is that no? Is this not a threat? The Abia State. We presented to you that the Abia State Governor Ekpeazu released a statement saying there is no such thing in his state. He has no knowledge of it, and that such should not happen in Abia State, and that he's cancelling it. 
However, some people have sent a message to the government saying that uh, they will carry on with the coronation uh, uh, irrespective of whatever the government has said. Uh, and it, yeah, the, guy, the guy is warning now. He says, see, I'm not joking. Okay? I'm not joking. This is what, you know, uh, our very own brother did in Imo State. Before he became governor of Imo State, there was never any emirate in Imo. But then, he became the governor of Imo State, and today is a different ball game altogether. You know? So, this is what... Although PDP is not in Imo, it is APC is not in Imo, it is PDP. However, these people are not budging at all. They are ready to still, you know, to still go ahead and, you know, uh, impose themselves on the people. The people where you won't come do uh, emirate for their place say no emirate. You say you must do emirate. Not be trouble be that between you and I. Not be trouble be that. Not be trouble because this one that they sent a warning now that they will go on. Uh, irrespective of the governor's warning, before you know it, I don't want to use my mouth to us before you go here, say, Percy, don't die. Let's come start killing for the state. These are some of the things that happen. These are some of the things that go on in Nigeria because, honestly, sincerely speaking, there is hardly any law, anything called law and order. So people take advantage of situations and just do as they please, you know, and uh, no, not, nobody, nobody, uh, you know, talks to them and tells them off that this is not right. So, however, some, uh, you know, Fulanese living in the state are saying the governor is just saying his own. Yes, that they will go on in respective of whatever has happened. They will go on regardless. They will go on regardless. So it is a matter of urgent attention. That every single one of us must look at these things critically and be sure that you know we know exactly what we are we, we are we, we are we are we are into okay we know exactly what is happening so none of us should take it with levity and just sit back and think that all is well you see this country today a lot of persons have taken advantage of the situation that you know things are no longer you know things have been some people have taken advantage of the fact that you know some persons have no say they are the ones that decide what happens this is what is happening you know this is what is going on you see please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe remember you have a voice god bless have a fantastic day and a lovely day from us is bye for now every single one of us must not be quiet in the face of oppression bye, -bye.